Hello DXB family, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. And in today's video, I wanna talk about layer ones versus layer twos. I wanna talk about a layer one that I genuinely believe could 100X, I kid you not. And again, I'm not saying it's gonna go there, could is the key word. Now, yesterday we talked about AI, we talked about the likes of based AI, AI tech, AGI. And uh, of course, there are a few important cryptocurrencies as layer ones, and I'm going to show you the value of having a layer one in your portfolio. So if that sounds interesting, smash a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's uh, let's go. And if you obviously if you're not with us, follow us on uh, on on WAP.com. Come to the Discord, nine dollars a month, best bloody community in the entire crypto space, right? And uh, Guys, I've got a presentation for you. By the way, there's the link to WAP. It's WAP.com forward slash DXB crypto. So let's uh, let's continue with this because I, I really want to talk about the value of having a good layer one in your portfolio and uh, why I think layer ones, when you look at the across the board in an entire cycle, layer ones will actually give you a multiple return. So the... One of the key things of understanding a layer one protocol is also understanding what the regulators are going to do, what, how the economy works on the token, and why layer ones are genuinely the best performing assets in the last 10, 12 years. You know, Bitcoin's a layer one, Ethereum's layer one, Solana's a layer one. Everything that is good and great about creating multiple uh, multi-cycle millionaires mostly comes from layer one. So I really want to talk about that. But first... If you are somebody who's in the market today for a very good layer one and you want to make as much as money as much money as possible in this cycle, because that's the name of the game, right, guys? You're not you're not falling in love because X, Y, and Z person likes this and they're telling you to buy it. You're falling in love with a cryptocurrency to make a 30, 40, 50, 100 X. Right? And this, you know, some projects give you more hope and again you can prove that scientifically by looking back what other similar projects have done and what i get here is alephium gives me a casper vibe it's like buying basically casper back in february 2023 and you might be thinking that's insane but that's what casper did right they announced they announced all of the big miners but the effect wasn't for another nine months so you know, when they announced A6, remember February 2023, and then things started to really take off after that. But we want to we want to look at this. So uh, shout out to uh, Paolo G here. He says, in my opinion, Alpha is exactly more or less at the same level as Sol was in December 2020. The fact that the price was the same in the same area, more or less, but in Alpha's case is $1.50. Then we all know what happened to Seoul. Of course, it went bananas. It had unlocks and it was still just giving the middle finger to the market. However, he says, you know, unlike, you know, Seoul, ALF has a much more of a performance aspect in, the, in terms that it's a proof of less work. It's sharding, UTXO, Alfred VM, which was just announced. And obviously the ALF language, which a lot of people said at the time was not, was not a bullish factor, is quite a bullish factor because they are developer focused. Now, in the last few weeks, we are seeing an increased hash rate, which is all-time high, to the A6 at Bitmain, uh, Ice River, and of course, um, uh, all of these different mining companies. Now, the mainnet, and we know what happened to CAS since February 2023. And if you were here in February 2023, watching DXP Crypto, some of the OGs will know, I used to make that regular same regular content back then, about a cryptocurrency, which is what value today at a dollar sixty one, a hundred what? Guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing here? This thing is one hundred thirty nine million dollars, right? <laughs> Incredible, and this this goes to five billion dollars. You've already made significant amount of money. You have already absolutely smashed the targets. Now, Casper is at four billion. And um, Alephium right now is $139 million. That's insanity, guys. And I think once we continue to find the reasons why ALF will, uh, will absolutely smash this potentially 100x target that I'm talking about, you'd notice where we are today. So we're looking at 
So what we're looking at, if you were to, uh, if you don't sleep on Alf, he said a dollar fifty based on what what he wrote above, and it's absolutely true. So let's have a look at this Alf chart, which is a pretty good one. So to actually get to ten dollars right now, it's a f you know what is that five hundred percent move uh, from where we are, and that's doable. Uh, Fifteen dollar tax for Alephium in the foreseeable future where you could actually start to seriously looking at taking profits. That's also very, very realistic. Now, why do I think Alpha is a bit different from, um, from, for example, Casper uh, at the same time, at the same place, if you was to do a time machine travel, shout out to the caveman. My brother caveman, when we were talking about creating a time machine so we can actually go back in time and buy Bitcoin. Now, you don't have to go back in time here because you already hold or you're looking to hold ALF. And uh, what I will say here is that 5x to the next 10x, I don't think, you know, once we break above uh, this uh, $4 uh, resistance, of course, there's other resistance here. You know, there's one at $2 and there's various other levels. But once ALF breaks above $4, I think it's a straight run to, to about $10 pretty quickly. And uh, in addition to that, why is it different from um, why is it different from Casper? Well, at the same time, same place, Casper did not have a you know a thriving ecosystem of dabs, and that's just facts, right? Absolute facts. Casper did not have this ecosystem that Alephium has, which I think is, is is incredibly bullish. You know, you've got you know over twelve DeFi protocols. The TVL is growing all the time. Smart contracts have already been deployed. So in essence, if you, I mean, a lot of people don't actually know what, for example, Alphabet Pad is or um, Alephium Name Services, ANS, or many of the meme coins on Alf, on Alpha Pad and, and, and AIN, which is a great DEX. So look at this. All of these dApps right now, um, you know, are on Alephium. Now, just imagine something that is mine announcing the same uh, same kind of mining companies as Casper did back in February 2023 with smart contracts and with massive, massive level of uh, development and dApps already consistently uh, present on the ecosystem. I think this is only going to do one thing, and that is, this is where my uh, price prediction was coming from. I think this is going to go nuts in my personal opinion i think it's going to do really really well in the next uh several months and in addition to that an area which i um always love looking is if you've got a very good layer ones which some of the layer ones are now becoming far scalable and cheap you know you see what's going on with tron we see what's happened with solana Layer 2s have taken a hit. Now, obviously, Layer 2s, you've got the likes of Manta, you've got the like, likes of Arbitrum, you've got, obviously, you've got base Layer, layer 2 without the token. But undeniably, Layer 1s create the most value in any bull cycle. Over the last 10 years, Layer 2, Layer 1s have performed over the last, since the creation of Bitcoin. Layer 1s are the assets to be because of the token uh utility and the economy of the tokens now layer twos if we look at q1 2023 have they did really well you know that hype of all of the layer twos coming out to scale ethereum since then layer ones have been much better and if you look at this red uh red line here that is the kind of recovery um look look how low they they have performed in comparison to to l1s now for those of you who don't know, layer twos are not only built uh, to to kind of have the uh, uh, transaction fees and scalability. I mean, they're built to the cheap data definitely to minimize the computing on the layer one. So taking a lot of pressure from the layer one to clog it less is also another good reason why a layer two would be uh, would be required. Right, cheaper transactions, faster transactions, and obviously declog the layer one. Now, users submit their transactions on the L2, where they quickly process the and ba uh, batch those data together, and that gets compressed and sent to the layer ones. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because you could see that the layer twos is meant, are meant to funnel 
uh, the, the transaction compressed data into the layer one where the data is stored. But projects like Alephium and, and other fast layer ones right now don't actually require that scaling solution. So overall, you can see here the recovery, and this is something that we talked about in our Discord, the recovery of layer ones after the August crash a few Mondays ago is, is just telling. You know, layer ones have bounced back in the most spectacular way. Therefore, I think everybody should have a, a very good exposure to, to layer ones. Now, there are other layer ones which are narrative driven. I'm talking about Octospace, Dynex. These are, you know, deep in layer ones with AI. So they move in multiple directions. And then obviously there's the standard layer one blockchains where dApps like uh, Alephium get built on. So all in all, guys, I genuinely believe like just like I said yesterday with the some of these AI tokens that we talked about, Alephium right now stands at a clear in my opinion, um, a no-brainer choice to have a a kind of a extremely high reward layer one play to to obviously have in your portfolio. Um, Alfred Vir uh, uh, virtual uh, machine um, on Alf. So it's there's a lot going on there, guys. But I would say, look, do your further research. I genuinely believe the current price of Alf right now. Let's just do the price uh, comparison between Alephium and a few other different uh, uh, different cryptos of similar ilk. So let's go with Alf because the market cap has uh, has has it's been so you know so tiny. It's absolutely. Let's go to Casper right now. All right. This is always a good benchmark to where Casper is. Now, all I want from this cycle is a 28, 29 X. Look at that. If Casper, if Alf goes to where Casper is right now, $46 Alf, I can actually see that happening very easily. Not very easily, but I think it's a realistic target because the market cap is $4 billion. And where Alephium is sitting right now is just $139 million. Come on, guys. Look, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, stupid moves uh, if you don't actually consider this. But the all-time high is not actually that much further from this. Now, if you look at that, what was the all-time high? $5 billion for Casper? 35x. That's a $50, $57 alf just to get to $5 billion. I'll take that any day of the week. <laughs> and twice on Sunday. Incredible, guys. If you were to put a decent amount of money, again, do your own research, spread your risk. This is not financial advice. You know, don't come at me if this doesn't take fruition, but I have already put my money where my mouth is, just like I did with Casper a year ago. And that is incredible. $5 billion to where Casper just went recently. I think this is doable. I think this is genuinely, genuinely achievable. And, um, you know, again, you know, it's, uh, you know, I've got to, I've got to share this. <laughs> I'll share that with, uh, with the community on Twitter. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. And, uh, genuinely, I mean, the information I'm presenting to you, like I said, is not financial advice, but I've, t you know, I've taken you through a lot there. You know, you, you see the potential and again, you know, from there to a hundred dollars, Listen, 100x could be an opportunity. So let me know if you're buying it. Smash a like, follow the channel. Yeah, join us at the DXB uh, community uh, Discord for $9 a month. Guys, you're not going to regret it. We've got legends in there. Everybody knows that. And uh, I shall catch you on the next one, guys. God bless.